Good morning, Peachtree Corners. Your friendly neighborhood city manager here again, wanting to uh, spend a couple more minutes talking to you about all things Peachtree Corners, all things um, new normal as we're um, getting hopefully closer to the end of this um, coronavirus quarantine that we're in. I have, since we last talked on Friday, have a little bit of clarification on some things as it relates to what is or is not allowed when it comes to businesses being open and as we get closer to the end of the shelter in place order and the end of the um, emergency health declaration that the state of Georgia adopted not too long ago. So a couple of things to make sure that you, for those who do not know this, um, to get you up to speed. Last week on April 23, Governor Kemp issued an extensive and detailed executive order that um, was his way of kind of easing some of the restrictions that his original shelter in place order contained. And this new order, which was effective through May 13th, has a number of um, aspects to it that are clarifying what businesses can be open and how they can be open. Now, it's important to note that the shelter-in-place order expires on the 27th. So that is coming up this Thursday. And... We, when that shelter in place order expires, we still are going to be under the emergency health declaration that the state has, and that expires May 13th. So in between then, there are some things that we needed to clarify um, for you. All right, so the shelter in place um, we're currently under is still in effect through April 30, the end of the month. Um, through midnight of April 30, and then starting May 1st through May 13th, there is uh, only a shelter-in-place component for those who are at high risk or suffering from a severe illness. Everyone else um, are free to, I guess, no longer shelter-in-place, provided there are a number of, of actions that they have to take um, everyone must continue to practice social distancing procedures as well as sanitation um, procedures as laid out by the CDC. Again, those are the washing of the hands, six feet um, apart, all that kind of stuff. Everyone is strongly encouraged to wear a face mask when outside of their home except for when they're eating or exercising. There's still no vacation rentals allowed in the state until the emergency declaration expires on May 13th. And public swimming pools, live performance venues, amusement rides, and bars are still to remain closed to the public um, during the remainder of the order and emergency declaration. So in other words, through May 13th at midnight. So Suffice it to say that starting May 1, um, things are kind of for those of us who are not, you know, high risk or suffering from a severe illness, we're able to kind of move around without having to only be doing so for essential um, activities. Now, given that that's the case, you know, there are some unique business activities that do ultimately have the, the potential for people to be in larger groups, especially groups more than 10. One of the ones that have now um, starting actually today at, is dine-in restaurant. Restaurants can now offer dine-in service. They cannot allow more than 10 patrons per 500 square feet of public space, and you calculate that by including waiting and bar areas, but not including hallways, restrooms, and other spaces like the kitchen that are not open to the public. 
So they can have not more than 10 per 500 square feet. And they are also required to implement 39 measures to mitigate the spread of it. And that's listed in the governor's order. And again, the, the, the governor's order is on our, our website. Um, I, does, there are some unique things on here like all employees, including back of house staff at a restaurant, have to wear face coverings at all times. Those are not even a recommendation. They have to. Um, there's no self-service stations, disposable paper menus are encouraged versus reusing the same ones. In other words, they're trying to keep it to where you're touching the same thing as other people as much as possible. Um, as some of you may know also, beauty salons, barbers, massage therapists, body art studios, gyms, fitness centers, they are all able to open also on this last Friday. They also have some unique, a unique list of mitigating measures that are specific to their business that um, can be also found in the governor's executive order. And theaters, bowling alleys, um, that kind of thing, same thing um, as was the case this last weekend. Um, churches could actually um, have in-person services as long as non-family members maintain six feet of distance. Um, I'm not sure of how many actually did that this first weekend, but they were able to. And then now, starting today, medical biz, uh, establishments can conduct non-emergent medical procedures. So I know that hospitals and other medical offices are looking at opening it back up for, again, non-emergent you know, uh, procedures. So that being said, that's kind of where we're at right now. So basically, I think you're going to see the city of Peachtree Corners in line with some other um, municipalities, especially in Metro Atlanta. We'll probably see, you know, some of... Some examples of all of those type of business activity will start opening up. Not all of them, though. It's really based on the comfort of the owner or operator of the, facility, uh, of the establishment. And remember, if you're uncomfortable, please don't feel the need to go get your you know, nails done or get, you know, you have your chiropractor work on your back or whatever if you feel uncomfortable. Um, and if you are out and about, just again, practice... Um, those social distancing guidelines, wash your hands frequently, be considerate of others' space and of what you may be touching that others could touch. Because again, you may not realize that you have COVID-19 and you could be asymptomatic or pre-symptomatic, but you could have it and you touching things could put other people at risk. So I think between now and May 13th, you're gonna see these measures in play. It does not appear, unless there is a change that the governor is inclined or the General Assembly is inclined to extend the emergency declaration on that the state did originally. So if that's the case, then technically speaking, there are no more restrictions on the um, conduct of business. And it'll be basically left up to each individual business and each individual to use logic and common sense um, as they move forward in conducting business. Now, we here at the city are considering when we are going to open up city facilities um, for the public to, to utilize at their discretion versus just by appointment or just remotely. And we're not sure when that'll be. Um, it may end up corresponding with the May 13th executive order um, expiration, which tends to, um, at this point, be the general consensus amongst other municipalities in the area. And so you're probably going to see us announce soon that that's the, the case. When we do have the public come back into City Hall, there will probably be some um, changes on 
how the building operates. I think when you have our customer service area where developers and others come to pay utility bills and you know business license and other permits that you're going to have you know probably even X's on the carpet to know how you know where to stand you're going to see glass between my customer service representatives and people transacting business with them you're going to see some of those things that are just going to keep people, you know, a little far enough of a distance away that the spread of this can't happen. So I think that's going to be a new normal for everybody. And so I think we all need to get used to it. And we will over time, I guess, we'll get used to being, you know, standing in lines of six feet you know, or where there's six feet of distance between people standing in line. Um, there's a number of other decisions that we're going to have to make about things coming up into the near future. And so given that it's about time for us to do that, um, this coming Wednesday, the next time that we would normally have a discussion or I would be speaking to you, the mayor is actually gonna address the city this coming Wednesday. And he is going to go beyond what I've been you know, doing for the last couple of weeks, which is, tends to be factual. Mayor's going to talk a little bit about his inclinations as it relates to things like events at our town green. He's going to be discussing with the other council members and, and as well as the other municipalities in Gwinnett County about maybe a, um, a, you know, some process and procedures and, and regulations as it relates to large public events. And maybe we can all kind of open that up at the same time so one city is not trying to like steal activity from others or it gets so big because there's nothing else going on that you can't manage it. So we are talking through that and the mayor should have more discussion, you know, or, and more information about that, more inf information about what the city is doing um, internally as far as how we provide service back to you, um, our customer and uh, including some updates on some of the, you know, capital improvement projects that the city has um, either is doing ourselves or are regulating with the private sector. Um, most of that, if not all of it, is good right now because it's showing that despite there being some, you know, change in the way we're, we're doing things in the shelter in place order, there has been construction that has proceeded and it's good news because that means that the local economy has not completely ceased. And so anything the city can do and, and, and uh, we've been requested of to help facilitate that, we're very open to it. So tune in um, Wednesday at 11 a.m. That'll be an important one. Um, the mayor will have a lot of information to put out. In the meantime, a couple last things, one, we're entering into week three of our Color Our Heroes program. Um, sometime here very soon, our website will have a new coloring page. This week, we're going to be honoring police, fire, EMS, you know, public safety personnel. And so, again, color, um, color those pages, post them, um, send the city. Um, via direct message through our social media platforms or an email to info at peachtreecornersga.gov your colored page and you'll be eligible for a drawing for local gift or for gift cards purchased from local um, establishments here in Peachtree Corners. Um, week one had that very thing and so there are a number of people who got gift certificates to restaurants or other retail establishments here. And so, uh, you know, it's a, good, it's a good thing to do to spend some time doing something other than being on a screen or, or pestering people around you because you're bored. And it's a good way to let, you know, by posting it in your front door or, or car window or whatever to let those people know that you appreciate what they're doing. So keep doing that. Again, remember, Census is still live. If you haven't done it, please go to census.gov, fill out the questionnaire as it relates to your household it'll take just a couple of minutes and ask anybody you know if they have i'm going to encourage them 
the you know every person that does not do it, the city loses money from the federal government to the tune of about fifteen hundred dollars a year, and so that can add up. And that's money that we can put back into our community by paving roads and you know making parks and you know other things, great amenities for you to utilize. Um, beyond that, um, I thank you for all you're doing. Um, I do hope that the light at the end of the tunnel that we all see is one that will remain and we won't have any kind of a you know relapse if you will of the spread of this such that we have to take a step back but let's just do all this um, conduct ourselves in a way that is responsible and it does mitigate the spread of it so thanks for all you're doing Keep up, um, keep up a positive attitude. You've heard it before, but it's true. We're all in this together and we'll all get out of it together. So take care. God bless. And the mayor will be um, talking to you Wednesday at 11. Look forward to that. And I will uh, sign off. Thanks again.